I mean, Victor, do you really think this is wise? Boarding a huge abandoned starship with all of its escape pods jettisoned? <laughs> That's why we had to stop and investigate. <laughs> I mean, who'd leave a ship like this out in the middle of nowhere? I mean, aren't you curious? No, I'm not. <laughs> I think that we should have just stayed on course to the next game. I mean, no crew jettisons all their escape pods because the ship's so lovely they can't take it anymore. <laughs> Come on, Shay. <laughs> Where's your sense of adventure? I mean, maybe we could nick some stuff. I mean, look at us. We're rock and roll pirates. Come on. Uh, Robbie. Come on. Come on. We've got to go live out Victor's fantasy of being a space pirate. Well, I was just reading this ancient document. It's amazing. Strange tales from deep space? Robbie, that's kid stuff, mate. We're in deep space in a real strange tale right now. Come on! Yeah. Okay. Hey, should I close that window before we go? Close the window? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, marvelous. This is great. So you scrap straight through it. It's kind of exciting. I think we're gonna write a great song from this experience. Yeah, too bad no one will ever hear it. Or the sounds of us being torn apart while you cry, Shay was right. <laughs> Come on, let's keep exploring. <laughs> Check this out. I just found a shoe right in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> I could totally nick this right now. There's not even anyone around to stop me. It's amazing. Ugh. It's a bloody mess in here. <laughs> wow. When you said it was a bloody mess, I didn't think you meant a mess made of actual blood. <laughs> Whatever happened in here? I haven't seen this much blood. Since we did that show with that band, what were they called? Oh, the, uh, the Stabby Murderers. Sorry, why have they got the rubbish bins on the ceiling? That's not a rubbish bin, Robbie. That looks like some sort of egg thing. And with that, let's get out of here. Yeah, look, there's another one over there. With like thousands next to it, and then like some huge beasts next to them. Those things are using this as some sort of hive vessel. We'd better leg it, fellows. We gotta get our jacksies back to the ship. Come on. This was a bad idea. And now we're trapped. What it all looks like we're in some sort of communications room. And maybe we could just send out a distress signal and reach someone on the radio. Who are we supposed to call? An exterminator? There must be a microphone or a headset or something in here. Oh, here it is. Oh, great. Cheers, mate. Standing on the floor, some bloke's arm. I uh, see that, Robbie. Thanks for the hand with that. <laughs> All right. This door is not going to hold up for very long, Victor. Seems they're quite good at getting through thick metal holes. It says in my book that if you're ever in trouble, you just call for the defender. The what? The defender. Robbie, that's some fairy tale story in a comic book. I think it's real. <laughs> he once was a man with a heart of gold. But then, like, he got, he got zapped by, like, a space dragon, and then it made him into a robot. Oh, just call him! Call anyone!
Defender. <laughs> CJ, I told you we'd write a great song from that experience. You are mad. <laughs> yeah, and we got to nick stuff too. I didn't nick anything. I did. I found this cool rubbish bin. <laughs> 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 <laughs>